Fire has been an integral part of the Australian landscape for thousands of years. Every spring and autumn, fire staff from South Australia's Department of Environment, Water and Natural Resources conduct a program of prescribed burns in the state's parks and reserves. Prescribed burns are important in South Australia to reduce the fuels in an attempt to afford a greater level of protection in the event of a bushfire. Of course, that's what we're doing, but it's also important for residents to have their own bushfire survival plan as well as ensuring that they carry out work to minimise the fuels directly around their house. We also conduct prescribed burning for conservation purposes. The, uh, lots of plants and animals have adapted to fire in the Australian context, particularly here in South Australia, and those plants will not generally regenerate if fire has been excluded from the landscape for a great number of years. So what we do is we introduce fire and that encourages regeneration of our plants and therefore providing food and shelter of course for our animals. The purpose of doing this burn in Black Hill Conservation Park is to provide a fuel reduction zone along the northern boundary. By creating that fuel reduction zone we improve the ability to put out the fire and it also Im improves the safety for our firefighters and and it also minimises that potential impact of the whole park burning out in a single bushfire event, which obviously has a really significant negative impact on our wildlife. Well before we actually look at burning, we identify the fuel type and arrangement, and once they're determined, we go through a pretty thorough environmental planning process to determine what sort of negative or positive impacts the burn may have. Then we go through uh, looking at how we're going to conduct it operationally. So that takes into account the terrain, the aspect, um, what sort of fire control lines that we may have to either establish or are, are available to us. And then conditions on the day, of course, are around the weather. Another very important aspect to conducting the burn safely is how you introduce fire into the, burn, the, the planned burn area. So the lighting pattern that you apply you can actually determine what sort of fire behaviour you'll experience. Around burning, there's also the resource considerations that we need to take into account, so ensure that we have enough of fire appliances and people. Uh, we conduct around 100 burns on average a year, and that's treating an area of about 15,000 hectares across the state. If people need to conduct a burn, they can contact their local CFS regional office uh, there's a fire prevention officer there that will provide advice around the conditions of burning and also provide some advice on how to uh, conduct a burn safely.